Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the wound dehiscence. So what do we mean by wound dehiscence? Wound dehiscence uh, refers to the disruption or separation of any or all the layers of the wound that is created by a surgical incision. So it's a very important post-operative complication that we need to pay attention to. Most commonly it occurs from the 5th to 8th post-operative day when the wound is at its weakest. It may be a sign of an underlying abscess. The appearance of wound dehiscence may be preceded by the presence of serosanguinous pinky discharge. That seemed to occur in 50% of cases. We have several factors that are associated with wound dehiscence. These factors can include the technical errors in the facial closure, uh, especially when we have wrong spacing of the suture or when we're having inadequate depth of bite of the fascia, as you can see uh, right here in the picture. The second factor is when we have an emergent surgery. So the surgeon may not pay attention to how did he uh, do the suturing uh, because of the urgency of the situation. The third thing is when we have an elevated intra-abdominal pressure. Uh, of course, when we have an elevated intra-abdominal pressure, that may cause the wound to burst open. Wound infection can also predispose to uh, wound dehiscence as well as hematoma. Other factors can include obesity and of course the chronic use of corticosteroids, uh, as we all know, uh, corticosteroids impair wound healing and uh, ultimately can be involved in wound dehiscence. The management usually depends on the extent of separation and the presence of evisceration. Evisceration refers to the presence of a viscera that is coming out of the open wound and it seems to be a more complicated thing to deal with. Although most patients will need to return to the operating theater for resuturing. That's all that I have in this video. If you want to add anything, you can write it down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.